In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this image to create this one. All the images that I use in the description of the video, you can just download them and follow along and create the same images. As well. So for this design, I'm going to use a widescreen size, so I have a nice thumbnail of the video. But if you want to use this, for instance, for an Instagram post or something, you can just use other dimensions, for instance, like this for Instagram. Just do the same steps and you will create something exactly the same, but in different size. All right, let's start up from here. I already got rid of this background. So if you want to know how to get rid of backgrounds, I'll link the video here up. And let's start up from here. I'm just going to drag this in my new file. Press right mouse and convert smart object. So that way we don't ruin the quality when we resize it. And press Ctrl Command T to resize it and make sure it fits the image. So on Instagram I had like a vertical size so there was a lot of space around it and now I have widescreen so it's a little bit different for me now but I'll try to make the same. And this will be our background so I'm just gonna select it up with Ctrl Command A and Ctrl Command C to copy it and just put it behind our chameleon here. Convert to smart object and press Ctrl Command T to resize it and let's put it somewhere here. You will barely see something of this background because I'm gonna blur this out really really a lot so this doesn't really matter which image you use but I'm just gonna use this because I did this before. Let's make sure this fits the image and make it really big. I wanna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and let's add some blur to this. As I mentioned I'm really gonna blur this out so this doesn't really matter what I have here. Just wanna make sure I have on the right side of this image I have like lighter areas than on the left side because I want my lighting on the right side so I'll make sure it's something like this so you can see the left side is dark here and this is lighter it's exactly how I want all right let's work on this chameleon I think it needs to go a little bit down because we have a butterfly and there's not much space here left so let's start off with working on this one I'm gonna create a new exposure layer here select exposure and here I'm gonna increase the exposure just make sure to press this so you only affect the chameleon underneath it, underneath the layer. And let's put it around one. Now you want to click on this mask here and press D on your keyboard so you have black as the background here, color. And press Ctrl Command E to get rid of it. Now you want to go to the brushes, select the soft round brush, leave the opacity and flow at 100%. And let's brush the top part lighter again. So we have lighting on the top side so we need to make sure that the side is lighter now we can make the bottom part darker so let's create a new curves layer here press this again and let's drop the highlights now when i press on this mask again press ctrl command e to get rid of it and let's bring it back on the bottom part so we have this side a little bit darker as you can see we have lighter lighter parts on the top side and darker parts down exactly how I want it and let's edit this background here I'm going to create a hue and saturation here click on the background layer select hue and saturation press this again and let's drop, drop the saturation here say around minus 45 as you can see it blends in a lot better than before all right next one is the butterfly so I got this image as the butterfly and let's put this here press ctrl t or command to resize this and make sure it's facing this eye of this chameleon and now we're gonna create a hue situation here and let's also drop the situation to around minus 35 something like that all right now this part is to make this image look more like it has depth or something like it looks more real because it's empty now so i'm gonna select this this leaves here just select this and copy it Command to Ctrl C and put it above all the other layers. Now let's make a smart object here and press Ctrl Command T to resize it and let's put these leaves around it. Now, as you can see, these don't don't blend well in together right now, so we need to work on these. So let's first create a new layer here, new adjustment layer, and select the huge saturation. Now press this and drop the saturation. say around minus 50 54 and it's way too light now and it's 
especially when you have stuff closer to the camera it needs to be a little bit darker than stuff behind it so i want to make sure this is darker so i'm going to create the curves layer here select this and let's drop the highlights here and let's do some mid-tones something like that because this is really close to the camera now and it needs to have more contrast there this chameleon and this butterfly and let's just play around with this and see where we put this we can put some here all right now we need to blur this out so we can create some depth so i'm gonna go to filter blur gaussian blur and add some blur to it this is way too much so i'm gonna drop this so it looks more real now and just find something that is in between the background there and this chameleon here and this leaves now here so something like like this is fine press ok and let's select all these layers holding down shift i'm going to select all these layers from these leaves with the adjustment layers press on this folder here and now we have this in one folder and only thing i have to do now is just drag this here or press ctrl command j to duplicate it and just drag this around in this folder in this design Let's flip this so we don't see a pattern here and we can resize this for instance make this bigger like that usually when i have stuff that doesn't look right for instance maybe this piece here it looks a little bit weird so i just make sure i'm just gonna put some leaves in front of it so you won't see it so it looks more real and you won't see the flaws but something like this is pretty cool and now we can even duplicate this one more time let's transform this again for this time you can even rotate this try to find some nice places for these leaves around it just make sure they don't ruin the image so something like this all right now i don't like this little piece here so i'm just going to create a mask here and brush this part away and i want to make sure this butterfly is visible so i'm gonna select the layer of this leaf here it's this one make a mask and with a black brush i'm just gonna get rid of it so something like this looks pretty cool all right now what i want what i have to do here is i'm gonna import this into lightroom so i got this png file opened up in lightroom and only thing i have to do is apply one of my presets you can get all these there on the description of the video and as you can see you can use this one for instance i usually use this one for the contrast and lighting or you can use this one to get it more softened and usually i use seven for the colors so i'm gonna export this one just click on this preset export that's it and also do the same with the first one and the only thing i have to do now is just open them up by the photoshop and put them above all the other layers and just change the opacity and that's it so that is it thank you so much for watching hope you like my video don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and make sure to check out my other videos if you like my content and until then see you on the next video